Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series. The series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired Wireless, Active Directory and much more. So in the last video, we ended up with um, 802.1x. So we were able to uh, do 802.1x authentication on our Wired switch, but we also configured Mac authentication. So what you most times want is have one single port configuration where you plug in a device and if it does dot one x it will uh, get the appropriate access if it doesn't do dot one x uh, it might need to do the mac address and do profiling stuff and uh, stuff like that to have the appropriate access so that's mostly done with iot devices but it's also uh, done if you are um, using ip phones for example and, uh, and printers and IP phone is exactly what I will be doing uh, today. So I think I already plugged in an, uh, an IP phone in my switch so I can here edit the access tracker and include the port number so we can see uh, what is on what port. So you see I, uh, I have a, my laptop on port number two and I have my, uh, probably this is an uh, IP phone uh, on port number three. So first, what we need to do now is that we need to uh, configure the appropriate services to do this uh, MAC authentication. And what we can do here is in the input, see the request attributes, and you can buy it, uh, but, uh, you can build a uh, yeah, policy around this information. So we'll be doing uh, that right now. So we go to the configuration, we go to our profiles, um, Profiles are already uh, in there. Um, I mentioned in the last video that I missed a T here, so we can just change it here and it will be uh, changed in all uh, places where it's referenced. So we can uh, change names later on if we want. So let's create an other one uh, here for the um, Aruba OS uh, Mac authentication. So let's create here one WS. Aruba OS switch Mac off Mac off on wired again default profile put it on uh, deny access so what we want to do here is we uh, will create uh, the rules that if the endpoint repository, so this is where all profiling data goes into um, here, if the uh, device category equals uh, a VoIP phone, then we can uh, return the voice VLAN. So that's uh, this one. And what we probably want to do is um, allow all other traffic so what we can do uh, here is uh, tips role equals user authenticated because all authentications are uh, user authenticated then we can put them in the untrusted vlan and in the untrusted vlan we can perform uh, profiling so when the phone comes first on the network uh, yeah we don't know we need to profile it first so we can put it in the untrust vlan there um, it can be profiled and then afterwards it can be placed in the voice VLAN. So now create our service for that. So here we go and we create a uh, Mac authentication service. So we use that template workshop Aruba OS switch Mac. And yeah, we'll keep this um, as it probably is uh, is okay. We go to next here. Um, we have here Mac off. We are going to exchange this with the allow all Mac off. So in ClearPass, um, there is a concept of known clients, and uh, by default, the Mac off will only allow known clients. So if you have a new client coming on the network, uh, by default, with the Mac off uh, authentication method, it will not be allowed. Uh, on the network so it will be just re be rejected now we have this authentication uh, method allow all mac off we uh, can decide in the enforcement policy what to do with this specific uh, device 
So the role mapping, we don't use it because uh, our standard role mapping, uh, as you can see, it does only AD lookups and the Mac devices, Mac authentication devices do not live in AD. And here we can uh, use the enforcement policy, uh, policy Mac auth. So if it's an, a VoIP phone, it will go in the voice VLAN. If it's uh, another device, it will go into the untrusted VLAN. So it's nice in the right section. So now let's go back to the monitoring and uh, let me replug my phone. I'll unplug it and I replug it. So let's see what happens. So first of all, you can see here because the service field is empty. Um, that means that there was no service yet matching on this, uh, on this specific request. So the phone is initializing. And what we can see now is that it's, um, it is um, authenticated. So uh, we can go into the authentication. Um, we can see that it's on the workshop switch. Um, we can see that it's uh, user authenticated and it has been assigned in the VLAN 14. That's a bit unfortunately because we uh, wanted to have this phone in the uh, voice VLAN. But as you can see, um, there should be data here on the specific device. Um, and um, it appears that this device has not yet been profiled. So we don't have the profiling data on this specific, uh, specific device. So yeah, we just don't know uh, what kind of device it is. Um, and if we go here into the endpoint repository, we can uh, look up this device so we can see uh, it's not profiled. Status is unknown. Um, so for that reason, we cannot uh, put it in the right VLAN. So why that is, um, that is because we didn't configure profiling. And um, having said that, we will make a next video on how to enable profiling and to make sure that this VoIP phone will be automatically, uh, without any user intervention, being placed into the voice VLAN. So that's in the next video. Thanks for watching now. If you like these videos, uh, please leave your comments below this video and subscribe to our channel so you will get, uh, be, uh, get notified if there is a new video in this, uh, in this series. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again in the next video.